kidding me? Five hidden meanings behind the death of Ravlin Rabbit. Number five, Game of Thrones reference. While this reference didn't take place on Raw or during the latest Firely Fun House episode, it did take place on social media afterwards where Bray Wyatt reached the death of Ramblin' Rabbit. While the rabbit has only made one appearance on WWE television, the Wyatt character was clearly connected to it as he posted a goodbye message to the rabbit on social media. With Wyatt's tweet he actually made a distinct reference to the popular TV show Game of Thrones. Wyatt stated that what is dead may never die, which is something that is stated on the show by the Greyjoy family, showing that Bray is clearly a fan of the show. Number 4. Hurt and Heal Bray Wyatt's promos are always full of secrets and hidden meanings and one major sign towards what his future will be like came this week as he gave a very quick glimpse of what is written on his gloves. Wyatt has worn the gloves briefly in the first episode of the Firely Fun House and after the rabbit's death, he showed them again, quickly flashing them over his face as the words Hurt and Heal were written on them. It was a blink and you'll miss it moment, but it perhaps showed what his character will be about, which certainly seems like it could be two distinct and different personalities. Number 3. The Picnic Despite the fact that Rablin Rabbit was supposed to be one of Wyatt's friends in the funhouse, died in the episode, Bray quickly moved things on by suggesting that they should have a picnic. This wasn't really a hint at anything in the future, but was actually a throwback to where Wyatt's character actually originated from which was Waylon Mercy. Mercy wore the Hawaiian shirt and Bray took certain aspects of his character from Mercy. This was clearly a nod towards him as one of the famous promos that Waylon Mercy ever gave was about throwing a picnic, with this clearly being a wink to the fans who have always compared the two. Number 2. A throwback to his past During the promo, Bray White suggested a picnic for Mercy the Buzzard as a way of rewarding for his actions. This took us to a shot of some children who did not look happy to be there in the slightest. This was a nod back to an old segment from the feud between Wyatt and John Cena, where Bright brought out a choir of children all dressed up in sheep masks as a way to freak John Cena out and make him as nervous as possible. Wyatt also held on to a lamp toy during the segment, which is another nod to his past as both Eric Rowan and Luke Harper used to often wear sheep masks during the Wyatt family days. Wyatt recently teased that Harper could possibly be involved in a segment at some point in the future, with this possibly being a hint that his former brother in arms might be set to join him again, although Harper has requested his release from WWE. Number 1. Mercy the Buzzard will be the wild card. The popular theory going around regarding the Firely Funhouse is that it's actually going to turn out to be a brand new group for Bray Wyatt, similar to the Wyatt family but with a twist. The group started out with three other members, Abigail the Witch, Mercy the Buzzard, and of course Ramblin' Rabbit. The rabbit may have gone, but three remain, and this is the base of the group, with the report stating that each character will be represented by a WWE superstar. Obviously Wyatt will be portraying himself, and is going to be the leader of the group, with rumors stating that Nikki Cross could be set to portray Abigail, while Eric Rowan's name has been thrown around for Mercy the Buzzard. From this episode, it's clear that Mercy is going to be a wild card in the group, that will be unpredictable, willing to take out anybody in his path when needed, which was clear to see from the actions surrounding Ramblin' the Rabbit. While this idea may never amount to Mercy and Abigail actually being portrayed by active wrestlers, it will certainly be an interesting concept, with the wrestling world constantly talking about Bray Wyatt's story development every week, showing that people certainly care about what they're seeing. What did you think of the newest episode of the Firely Funhouse, and what do you expect from Wyatt's character moving forwards? Let us know in the comment section below.